So Pyrene wasn't the only coin that changed its algorithm yesterday to be more GPU miner friendly and kick ASICs and FPGAs off the network. It actually is the case that also Carlson did the same thing and their hard fork to switch to a new algorithm was supposed to happen today, but actually happened a little bit earlier than expected, which means that not only is Carlson more profitable for GPU mining now than it has been in like quite a long time, but you can also now dual mine Carlson with Pyrin. So that is what we're going to cover in this video, kind of how to mine Carlson, how to dual mine Carlson with Pyrin, and also just kind of what this means for us GPU miners. And this video is sponsored by the Hero Miners Carlson Mining Pool. So thank you very much to them for making this guide possible. And with that, let's get into this. So let's start by having a look at what's been going on on the Carlson network. And as you can see here, we were kind of steady around 50 or so terahash per second in terms of network hash rate for a while. Then all of a sudden these massive spikes started popping up. And at one point we were, you know, well above 200 terahash per second. And Usually what this means is that there are now at the very least highly efficient FPGAs on the network or in a worst case scenario, even ASICs might have been developed for this algorithm. And what that means is that, of course, those machines are so much more efficient at mining the coin that all the GPU miners effectively is going to be kicked off the network as these more efficient machines will scoop in, take all of the mining profits for that coin, essentially. And as we can see here, Carlson made a announcement about their hard fork to transition to their new mining algorithm Carlson Hash V2, which essentially, if we keep reading here, is based off of Fish Hash, which is developed by Lollydeep, the developer behind Lolminer. It's a mining algorithm that he helped design for the crypto Ironfish. But Carlson has now taken that algorithm, tweaked it a little bit, and basically implementing it as Carlson Hash V2. And as I mentioned earlier, this fork to the new mining algorithm was supposed to happen today as of recording this video. However, it did occur a little earlier than expected, as we can see here, but it uh, completed successfully. So all good there. And Carlson is now up and running on Carlson hash V2. And they have a little bit of a longer post here, kind of just going through everything and what's happened and why. Uh, there is one um, little thing that I want to point out here, which is Carlson hash V2 was specifically designed to empower small GPU miners like most of us, right? Uh, making mining on our network more profitable for everyone, not just large players. This transition ensures a more distributed and resilient network while reinforcing our commitment to decentralization. So essentially with this algorithm change, they are kicking all of the potential ASICs and FPGAs off the network and making it as optimized as possible for GPU miners, which is good, which means we are the ones that get to share in the profitability while making it way less enticing to develop FPGA bitstream or ASIC miners for this coin. And you guys might remember that I did a video on Carlson mining a while back, basically covering the essentials of what is the Carlson coin project all about, and then how to mine it, how to input overclock settings and all of those essential things about it. So I'll link that video down in the video description. This video will focus mostly on what is different now and what we have to change as miners in order to mine this new Carlson hash V2 algorithm, as well as how to dual mine Carlson with Pyrin. But I thought I should cover quickly how to set up a wallet for Carlson anyway. So let's get right into that, shall we? Basically, I just have the official Carlson coin website here. It's just carlsoncoin.com. And up here, you can hover over wallets. And the very easiest one to set up will be the web wallet. That's super quick to do. So that is what I will cover in this video. However, if you want more uh, security, you might want to go for desktop. But for me, I'm just going to go web wallet in, just to set up a wallet for this tutorial here. So I'm going to create new wallet, enter a password here. I'm just going to go something simple for the sake of this video. There we go. Hit next. It will then give me a 12 word secret phrase. Now, if this is your wallet that you're actually going to be using, I recommend writing this down somewhere really safe not on your computer or phone or anything, but physically, maybe even make a couple of copies of that and store them in very safe places. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to do a screenshot of this, uh, which I will then throw away after this video is done, basically. So here we go. That's my seed phrase. Then I'm going to hit next. And then what's my seventh word was include. My fifth word was language. And my sixth word was wheel. There we go. Then you say done. I can throw this away. 
and there is my Carlson wallet address. So I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste it into a document like this to save for later once we get set up and mining. Next, let's have a look at how to mine and dual mine Carlson on Windows. And how to do this will depend on which type of GPUs you have. If you have NVIDIA GPUs, you need Rigel Miner. And if you have AMD GPUs, you need SRB Miner. But I will cover both in this video. And just a quick note here that, yes, I am recording this on a Mac. As you can tell, I'm not in my you know regular recording studio still, but I will be back there very soon. And until then, thank you very much for bearing with me while I make do. And also, you should be able to follow this on a proper Windows PC to get set up mining Carlson or dual mining Carlson, no problem. So let's start by having a look at how to mine Carlson or dual mine Carlson on Windows with NVIDIA GPUs. To do this, we need to go to the Rigel Miner official GitHub page. Now, just make sure you are on the correct official Rigel Miner GitHub page and no imposter sites or anything like that. And also keep in mind that downloading any sort of software on your computer always comes with certain risk involved and is always done at your own risk. And also when downloading these miners, you probably will have to make an exclusion inside of Windows Defender and any eventual antivirus software that you might have. And that is because mining software is often falsely flagged as malware is because a lot of malware also feature mining software in it. So just keep in mind that that is something that you might have to do. And also that is of course done at your own risk as well. But just come to the Rigel Miner GitHub page here, click on releases and download the latest release, uh, at the very least uh, version 1.19.0. And then just right click on the Windows zip file here, save link as, and download the zip file. Then open the folder and extract the file. On Windows, that is done by just right clicking on the file and hitting extract all. Then just open up the folder scroll down to the KLS preset and right click on it and hit edit. Now you might get a little pop up then that says Windows is defending you or something along those lines. Just click more info and then open anyway. You should then be greeted by a file that looks something like this. And to fill this in properly, there's actually a very easy way. And that is just come to the official Carlson mining pool on Hero Miners, which is just carlson.herominers.com. And at the top menu here, just click on the start tab scroll down and then click on Rigel Miner here. Then all you have to do is just copy this and paste it into your that file. Now there's one more thing that you need to do here. Uh, well, actually two, and that is to paste in your Carlson wallet address, which I saved in another document here. So I will just copy that, paste that in. And you can also enter your worker name here so you can call, this is basically what your rig will show up as on the Hero Miners pool dashboard. So basically what you want to name your mining rig. So I will just call it Seb's Rig 1. Then you save the file, double click on it, and you should be up and mining Carlson on Windows with your NVIDIA GPUs. Next, let's look at how to dual mine Carlson on Windows with NVIDIA GPUs. Basically, it is very similar. All you have to do is just open the folder again, and there is a dual KLS uh, preset file here, basically. So again, just right click, edit. You might go through, have to go through that more info open anyway thing. And to fill this in, since we are mining two coins, we need two wallets and two pool addresses. Starting with the pool server addresses, the easiest is just come back here to the page we were just on and copy the pool address that we had here from Hero Miners. And this will be our Carlson pool server address. So paste that under our Carlson pool here, like so. Then we can also add our Carlson wallet address here, like so. Then we need to add our Pyrin pool as well as our Pyrin wallet. And to do that, the easiest way is to just come to pyrin.herominers.com and go to the start tab up in the top menu again, scroll down until you are at this section here and click on Rigel Miner. And again, just copy the pool address from the little preset down here. Paste that as the pool in the document here. Then just paste your Pyrin wallet address. I went through how to set up a Pyrin wallet in my previous video from yesterday. So I'll link that video down in the video description as well. So I will just paste that in here like that. Then I can just get rid of all of this because I'm not dual mining Carlson with Gram. And I can also get rid of all of this then I just need to remove this line as well. 
Then finally, I can name my rig something here. So same as when single mining cars and I'm just going to name it Seb's rig one. Then just save this bat file, double click on it. And again, you should be up in dual mining Pyrin and Carlsen on Windows with Nvidia GPUs. Next, let's cover AMD GPUs. And the process of this is going to be very similar. We're just going to have to use a different mining software. So for AMD GPUs on Windows, we are going to need SRB miner. So just come to the official GitHub page for SRB miner, click on releases and download the latest release. At the very least, you need version 2.6.4. And to download it, you scroll down, find the Windows zip file, and then just hit save link as and save it. Then unzip the file by right clicking on it and hitting extract all and just open the folder. And in here, you should have a start mining KLS preset file or start mining Carlson actually, which is here. So then just right click on that and hit edit. You might get a pop up saying something like Windows defended you. Just click more info and open anyway. And you should be able to set up uh, your Carlson mining with AMD GPUs on Windows. And to fill this out, the easiest way is to just come to carlson.herominers.com. And in the top menu here, just click start, scroll down, and then find the SRB miner preset down here. Copy this and paste it into your that file like that. Then there's just a couple of things you need to add here. First of all, you need to make sure you add your Carlson wallet address, which I have saved here. So I will just paste that in. And then as your password, you essentially enter your miner name, your rig name. So this is what your uh, rig will show up as on the Hero Miners pool dashboard. So I'm just going to, again, name it Seb's rig one. Then you just need to save this file double click on it and you should be up and mining Carlson on Windows with your AMD GPUs. Now let's have a look at how to do that but dual mining Carlson with Pyrin and it's very similar because in that same folder you should also have the start mining Carlson and Pyrin batch file. So again right click on that hit edit you might get a little pop up from Windows just hit more info and open anyway and once you do you should be greeted by something like this and again we can just come to the hero miners website here to get the information that we need so again let's just copy the uh, pool address here and paste that in like this for our Carlson pool you can see it's actually already there in the preset and then for our Carlson wallet just copy that and paste that in as such then for the second algorithm here, which is Pyrin hash v2, we again need to add our Pyrin pool server address. And to do that, easiest way again is to come to pyrin.herominers.com, click on the little start tab at the top here, copy the address from the SRB miner preset down here, which is just like this. And paste that in here. You can see that's actually what's already in the preset here. And then for our wallet address, we just need to add our Pyrin wallet address in this little bit of the uh, preset here, like that. And there we go. Then you can just save that, double click on it, and you should be up in dual mining Carlson with Pyrin on Windows with your AMD GPUs. Next, let's cover HyperOS. And the first step, no matter if you're single mining or dual mining with either AMD or Nvidia GPUs, you need to come to all of your workers and upgrade them to the latest version of HyperOS. You do that by just opening the worker and clicking on this little yellow arrow here and upgrade to the latest version. This is to make sure we have the latest version of the miners to make sure that they are supporting the new algorithms here. Then once that's done, come to your flight sheets page and this is where we can create the flight sheets for these coins. So starting with mining just Carlson on Nvidia GPUs, we start by just adding KLS as the coin here. And for wallet, we can just click on add wallet. We can paste in our wallet address and name the wallet whatever we want. There we go, create. Then for our pool, we're of course going to pick hero miners and select the server that is physically closest to you to get the best possible connection to the pool. Then for the miner with NVIDIA GPUs, we are going to go with Rigel Miner. So just click that, then just name your flight sheet something cool, save it and apply it to your NVIDIA workers that you want to be mining Carlson with. And that is it. Now for dual mining Carlson with Pyrin on HiveOS with NVIDIA GPUs, you basically just need to come in here to the setup miner config and on this second coin tab here you need to enter pyrin hash version 2 then here for the wallet template we basically need to paste in our pyrin wallet address here 
So I have that saved in my little document here. So I'm just going to copy that, paste it, and then put a period and then whatever I want the name of my worker to be when I look at it on the Hero Miners pool dashboard. So again, I can just name this Seb's Rig one if I want. And then finally, we also need to manually add the pool URL here. And the easiest way to do that is just go to pyrene.herominers.com, make sure on the home tab here, and then just copy the address and port number for whichever of these servers is physically closest to you to get the best possible connection. I'm just gonna go with the top one here. So copy that, paste that into my pool URL here, like so, and hit apply changes. Then you just need to name this flight sheet, whatever you want, hit create flight sheet, and apply it to whichever NVIDIA workers you wanna be dual mining Carlson with Pyren on, and you should be up and good to go. Next, let's look at AMD GPUs for HiveOS. And doing this is going to be extremely similar. For our coin, we are again just going to pick KLS. You can hit add wallet and then just paste in your Carlson wallet address, like so. Name the wallet whatever you want and hit create. Next, we're going to select our pool, which we're of course going to go with hero miners here and just select whichever server is physically closest to you to get the best possible connection. I'm just going to go with the top one. And for our miner, since we are working with AMD GPUs here, we are going to go with SRB miner. And if you just want to single mine Carlson on your AMD GPUs, then all you need to do is just name the flight sheet, hit create flight sheet and apply it to your workers. And you will be up and single mining Carlson on your AMD GPUs. But if you want to dual mine Carlson with Pyrin, there is one extra step here, which is you have to click on the setup miner config. And for the second coin here, you need to select the algorithm, which is going to be Pyrin hash version two. And for our wallet, we need to manually enter that here. So just copy your Pyrin wallet address like this. And then you can just hit a period and then name your worker, whatever you want it to show up as on the hero miners pool dashboard. So again, I'm just gonna go with Seb's rig one. And then finally, we need the pool server and port number. And the easiest way to find this is just come to pyrin.herominers.com and make sure you're on the home tab here and then just select whichever server is closest to you physically for the best possible connection. I'm just gonna go with the top one here, copy that, paste it in here, hit apply changes, and that should be it. Then you just need to name your flight sheet something, hit create flight sheet, apply it to the workers you wanna be dual mining Carlson with Pyrin on, um, that are also AMD workers, of course, and then you should be good to go. Now, finally, let's look at how to track our mining progress on the Hero Miners dashboard. And to track your Carlson mining progress, you just go to carlson.herominers.com or to track your Pyrin mining progress, you just go to pyrin.herominers.com. It's gonna work exactly the same no matter which coin you are looking up, basically. So I'm just gonna show one of them, which is Carlson. However, if you do want to specifically what it looks like for Pyrin, I got my video that I made yesterday on how to mine Pyrin with Hero Miners. So, can check that out if you want, but essentially just come to carlsen.heromines.com or pyrin.heromines.com and then scroll down here on the home tab to the bottom here. Then just paste your Carlson wallet address down here where it says your stats and payment history and hit look up. And Hero Miners will then show you all of your mining progress, your total paid mining earnings, your pending balance, how your you know estimated earnings. It will show all of your workers. It will show your historical payments. It will show your uh, payment history and everything else that you might want to have in terms of information about your basically all of your mining statistics. Now, as you can see, I actually don't have anything up and mining uh, currently, so mine is pretty empty here. But there is one more thing that I want to show you here, and that is if you come to the top here and click on the little cogwheel, it will allow you to change some settings for the pool side of your mining, basically. Most notably, if you enter the IP address of one of your miners here, it will allow you to change your minimal payout level. Essentially, Hero Miners will then hold your payment until you reach that level of available funds on the pool, and that is when you will get paid out. This is good if you don't want as frequent payments, if you'd rather a few large payments rather than small payments very often. For example, to make bookkeeping easier when doing your taxes, or if you're mining directly to an exchange wallet where transaction frequency might be an issue. 
And if you want to learn more about Carlson Mining, what the coin project is all about and how to enter overclock settings and all of that good stuff, I recommend you watch my previous video on the project, which I'll link over here. So I'll see you there. Thanks for watching.